Cancel Culture Puppets Props Puns Podcasts. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back, and this is another segment of Beetle Maniacs. And uh, of course, we're Beetle Maniacs. Uh, everybody loves those four lads from Liverpool. They came over here, and they have been a great influence on all musicians and all music from then on. And uh, I have a special guest today. It's uh, John Lennon is actually here. And uh, we're about to tell, uh, how's it been, John? Uh, you know, I haven't seen you in a long time. I know that. Uh, Help. Know. Help. All right. Hey, the story we want to talk about, John, I, I, I hope you don't mind that I talk about you when you're right here. Help again. Well, you need somebody. Ladies and gentlemen, on this date, in 1974, John Lennon had reported seeing a UFO. And it was very well televised that he had seen a UFO. And this was during your... This was, John, this was during that uh, lost weekend that you had when you kind of separated from Yoko and maybe went out I'm, with... Maybe I'm amazed. You, you went out with May Ping and, uh, you know, and you and uh, Harry Nielsen used to get drunk and, uh, you know, upset the Smothers Brothers at the tr uh, Trocadero in the Hollywood. Remember that? Yeah. But this is when he saw the UFO in 1974... He was living in an apartment with May Ping on 52nd Street that's overlooking the East River. He said he looked out the window when he saw lights. He was nude and lying in bed. He saw lights outside. He thought it was the police. Didn't you? Uh, is that or a day tripper? Well, I, I don't know if you're tripping now, John, but it's great to have you here. Okay, but he said that he saw a cone-shaped flying object, unidentified, and uh, he said it's cone-shaped, it had lights all around it, and a big red cherry top, okay? And he said it went down the East River, made a right at the United Nations building, made a left, and then... Whoosh, now, we all know, John, you experimented with a certain <laughs> Lucy in the sky with diamonds, okay? And uh, you were kind of uh, drinking, uh, uh, like, on benders, and uh, you, were, you and Harry Nelson. And uh, we would kind of doubt your word, okay, that you had seen a UFO. So what did you do? You had your friend, your photographer friend, the one who took the famous picture that says New York City on, on, on this. And you said you have to go to the police and tell them about this UFO. This is true. That, thanks, it's, John. <laughs> <laughs> That's but it's true. Instant that he got, he got his photographer friend to go to the police because they said, yeah, John Lennon's going to see a UFO. They're going to laugh him right in the face. How about that? You can't beat that. But anyway, it turned out that John had been having these episodes all his life that he believes that he was abducted by a UFO. Did you believe that? Yes. But yes, uh, and he believed that it was uh, actually abducted by aliens and given directions and how to compose his music and how to go in life. And this lasted, uh, you know, not only when he was a child, this lasted up until like he was married with Yoko. He dreamed that they came and abducted him out of his bedroom when he was with Yoko and uh, took him off to teach him more things. Now, this is what, that, that's in a very exciting, uh, you know, yes. chapter in your. Yes. I had 19 nervous breakdowns. <laughs> well, we know that it is a, uh, a you know, that, that you had some medical problems. Uh, in fact, you were dead for a long time, weren't you? I certainly was. <laughs> and he miraculously came back to life because Paul McCartney put so much of his billions into him. 
And uh, we're so glad to have you back, John Lennon. And we're glad you saw that UFO on 52nd Street in 1974. Thank you for having me.